दोस्तों इस क्लास में आपको डिक्टेशन दूंगा उसी मैटर की जो पिछले क्लास में मैंने आपको डिक्टेशन प्रोवाइड की है 100 डब्ल्यू पर इस क्लास में आपको डिक्टेशन की स्पीड दूंगा मैं 110 हंड्रेड टेन डब्ल्यू पी एम पर आपको डिक्टेशन प्रोवाइड कर रहा हूं बी रेडी फॉर इट सर आई थैंक ऑल द ऑनरेबल मेंबर्स हु हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दिस डिस्कशन ऑन सैलरी अलाउंसेज एंड पेंशन ऑफ मेंबर्स अमेंडमेंट बिल टू आई एम हैप्पी दैट दिस टाइम we have taken up this matter for discussion in the house to avoid the criticism that we pass the bill relating to our salaries without discussion in the house this is the general perception among the public that the members of parliament decides their salaries on their own and there is no opposition to it but today that perception will be changed we have a very good discussion in fact the constitution enjoins this responsibility on us and i would in this case very briefly refer to article 106 members of either house of parliament shall be entitled to receive such salaries and allowances as may from time to time be determined by parliament by law there are two words by parliament and by law all these years i agree with some of the honorable members that parliament has been determining the salaries by law today we are seeking an amendment to the law itself there is no denying the fact that there is a universal acceptance or a rather demand for this that henceforth we give up this power of ours within the parameters of the constitutional provisions and that means the law as such has to be amended to provide for a permanent mechanism the law as such may not have to be amended but some provision there would entitle that this matter is decided by the commission but the important point that would still remain is that do the recommendations of that mechanism or the commission or whatever we call it come to the parliament again these are the points which will have to be discussed it was in this context that i had said that the cabinet in its meeting decided in principle that a mechanism needs to be set up but so many questions have arisen thereafter i can say from my personal experience during this last one year that views have been expressed on this that view has been expressed by one honorable member today also that is a contrary view to this who says that this right is vested in us and we have to exercise it ourselves of course with discretion and judiciously it is not that we have unlimited power in our hands we have to be answerable to the people and we have to see as to what we do because we have to really act as the representatives of the people but nevertheless i and for that matter the government in view of the developments in the last few days that it is time now that we set up a mechanism for this there is no denying the fact i am afraid it would be extremely difficult for me to announce the setting up of such a mechanism as demanded by senior leader from the opposition within the next 2 or 3 days but i can assure this house that we would like to have wide ranging consultations on this this will be a departure from the law that we have been following since 1954 therefore this does call for some discussion as to who are the people who have got to be associated with it and with whom we place this right for the future having said that i would very briefly refer to some points which are very pertinent and 
I am very happy that the honorable members have raised those points and this debate has given us that opportunity to in go into the people and say that this is what we feel about it it was a good number of honorable members who said though of course there was a contrary view again by honorable members but the prevalent view predominant view as was expressed by the honorable members was to effect that if the parliament does not function then we should not take our daily allowances our perceptions our concepts differ as to what work is but if we come to the parliament to transact business i think that is the work which the parliament is supposed to be doing the work that is maybe the sound of democracy at times prevails over the reason of democracy but ultimately it is the reason of democracy which has to prevail over the sound of democracy in the parliament it is the reason of democracy which should prevail outside of course we are all political workers we can take our voice to whatever level we wish to but i think in this context this point that has been made here that if for any reason for our own reasons if the parliament is not able to function for a day we should provide for it that for that day we do not take our daily allowance this point as also the point relating to attendance the secretarial assistance that was indeed a very pertinent point which has been made as honorable member said we have to work maybe on certain important matters about which we do not have the information accepting that as a layman as a representative of the people as a conscientious political worker we do want to participate in something which may be very technical for that perhaps you do need some research assistance there could be people from the universities and elsewhere to help us but i am not in a position to really say more than that on this having said that i just want to very briefly refer to the point relating to pension we did consider this point but i must say once and for all that we should not compare ourselves with any service whatsoever if i were to say so that would rather be demeaning ourselves we have to put ourselves in a different bracket we are not government servants we are public representatives maybe our work is 24 hours and 365 days but we are not government servants therefore we must not try to compare ourselves with the government servants to arrest the growing suspicion in the public about the politician about the parliament and for that matter democracy itself it is our duty to overcome this growing suspicion therefore i can only say that we must all put our heads together to see as to what mechanism we work out for the future with these words i thank all the honorable members who have participated in the discussion and who have expressed their support to this bill and i commend that this bill be taken into consideration दोस्तों इसी के साथ ही डिक्टेशन फिनिश होती है और मैं उम्मीद कर रहा हूँ कि आप लोगों ने बहुत अच्छे से इस मैटर को लिखा होगा कोई भी दिक्कत अगर आपको आई है इस मैटर को लिखने में तो आप पहले हंड्रेड डब्ल्यू पी पर इस मैटर को लिखिए जो मैंने आपको पिछली क्लास में प्रोवाइड किया है आपसे मुलाकात करूंगा मैं अगली क्लास में अगले ट्रांसक्रिप्शन के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय टेक केयर